Okay. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to be here. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Bentley, Nevada. Some of you may not be familiar with the business, but what I'm really here to tell you about is the launch of our Ranger Pro wireless sensor for condition monitoring. It's uh, to help our customers with their, with their safety, their uptime, and their efficiency. You know, some of you may have heard about Bentley, Nevada, and we've been around for 60 years, pioneered the art of rotor dynamics. And also to let you know, 75% of our product is exported to our customers outside the U.S., so we truly are a very global, uh, a very global supplier to the industry. Another interesting fact there, you see that we're 100,000 machines plus on critical machinery, and you know that's an important fact because you know customers have trust us with our sensors and our hardware monitoring analytics to know when to shut down a machine safely and when not to accidentally shut down a machine. And, and that's extremely important because if you accidentally shut down a machine, you're gonna cause problems. And if you don't shut down a machine when you should, you're talking about safety, you're talking about a potential loss of life and also millions of dollars of equipment that could be damaged. So you take that expertise that we have with our sensors and critical protection and you extend that over to condition monitoring. And for more than 30 years, we have also been providing condition monitoring on less critical assets. I would call those more of a scanning online system where you're sending the data into software for diagnostics, but you're not tripping a machine from a safety standpoint. So now, when you talk about a wired condition monitoring system, in 2018, we've taken the next step and we've gone wireless. And today now, our Ranger Pro is on about 2,000 machines since our launch in 2018. When you're gonna monitor a machine's health, vibration is one of the most critical parameters that you can use for diagnosing problems and determining the machinery health. And that's where Ranger Pro comes in. It is a vibration sensor, triax, so you're actually doing the X, the Y, and the Z direction on it. And it actually is not just gathering static data but it's a dynamic sensor. So you're taking more than a thousand points of information per second. So it's not just a check engine light, but it's a tool that can be used for diagnostics. You know, Ranger Pro is actually very unique. When you think about Bentley Nevada and the products that we put forth in the market space, this is actually a zone zero device. It also has a range of roughly 200 meters, I'm gonna say two football fields since we watched the Super Bowl last night, so you got the range that you need. It actually has a lithium D battery, and, and you know that's kind of unique in the industry when you think about the shipping of devices and, and batteries and the, the availability to get them globally. The fact that it's a lithium D battery, it can be easily sourced locally. And this is a battery, even with getting data every 10 minutes, it has three to five years of life for our customers. You know, when you think about a wireless device, you know, why is that important in this industry? Well, customers today typically have had a wired system, which can be very costly, or they can have a very inexpensive solution, which is a portable. You walk around and you get the data with uh, your sensors on the machine. But when you think about going out there with a portable, I mean, we've taken this device, say, to an offshore oil platform, and you think about the cost of helicoptering somebody out there and getting the permits to walk around the platform and take readings. And if you've ever been out to the North Sea, walking around the platform and getting readings on a machine may not be very uh, conducive to your health. So uh, this has been a product that the offshore platform have embraced. I'll give you another example. Let's go onshore. Think about something as simple as a cooling tower and the fans up on a cooling tower um, are misbehaving and you wanna take some readings on them and understand whether or not you need to shut down, you need to turn off that fan before it does damage. 
Well, if the guy has to climb up there with a portable, I've heard of Legionnaire's disease with cooling tower. I've also seen cooling, you know, the ladders can start to get a little bit of misted and maybe they're a little bit wet and slippery. So it's not, you know, not very safe. And so if you have a wireless device up there, once again, it's very economical and easy to install and our customers are actually embracing uh, this wireless technology. So once again, you know, it's not just a check engine light with dynamic data, but it truly is a tool that allows our customers with condition monitoring to continue on their journey to more predictive type analytics. You know, our, our hardware, our sensors, and our software is just the platform. And this is just one example of an IIoT infrastructure of using our data to allow our customers to have, I would say, sensors to the edge and edge to the cloud with their data. For 60 years, we've been actively engaged in machinery diagnostics. We have, as you saw in the statistics, we have 100 plus machinery diagnostic engineers worldwide, over 250,000 complicated cases solved. And it's that analytics that we actually leverage and develop our rule engines leading into what I would call the artificial intelligence of what we do. You know, Ranger Pro is just part of the story of condition monitoring and predictive analytics for our customers. Bentley Nevada actually has a portfolio product. So ranging from the critical assets to the less critical assets, you have online monitoring, you have scanning monitoring, you have wireless monitoring, and you have portable monitoring, all in one platform, system one. And this allows our customers to do that deep diagnostics in order to optimize their operations. You know, we are part of Baker Hughes, a GE company, and a lot of folks would associate that with just the oil and gas, but we actually service a lot of different markets. So from oil and gas to power, which includes nuclear, renewables, we even are in other industries such as food and beverage, mining, pharmaceutical, water municipalities. So we truly are um, very global, very broad in our application and across critical machines to less critical machines. And that, whoops, I do have one slide here. If you do want to learn a little bit more uh, about the Ranger Pro specifically, we do have one of our customers, Paul, from Invista, part of Coke Corporation, who's going to talk a little bit more about the Ranger Pro and their journey to predictive analytics. And then also we have a workshop where we'll talk a lot more about imagine if your machines could talk and a little bit deeper into artificial intelligence with our diagnostics and rule packs. And I've left time for questions. Uh, yes? Okay, the question was, is the sensor truly a triaxle? You know what? It's coming straight out at you. It truly is. So when you think about a machine vibrating, it's going to measure the X, the Y with the piezoelectric crystal inside, and Z. And it does actually do one additional me uh, measurement, which is temperature. Yes? Okay, the question was, is this a standalone separate system than the traditional Bentley hardware and software, or does it complement it? 
The answer is actually both. We have some customers that are starting their journey with condition monitoring, and they are starting it with portables and wireless. And we have other customers who have traditionally purchased our sensors and our hardware and software on critical that are now embracing the need to have more data. The good news is all of it comes into the same System One software platform, and that's really advantageous for our customers because when you think about the training and several different software platforms, but uh, believe it or not, you know, an inexpensive sensor like the Ranger Pro, you're getting the same deep domain analytics capability of a critical machinery. So it's a big plus. And you know, one of the things you'll hear about from Paul from Invista, he's going to talk about you know, the fact that they do use us on their critical machines, but when they were looking at wireless, they actually looked at five or six different other wireless companies out there. But I think the key is it's that dynamic data. It's not just a static value, and it's being able to take that check engine light and say, can I keep running? How long will I run? When I do shut down, what do I need to have to have that turnaround be as short as possible? Can I order the pieces of equipment that I need to repair my machine prior to shutting down? So this simple device allows customers to do that. Yes? I'd have to pull it up on the data sheet, but I believe it's like minus 40 to about 150 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. But the interesting thing is this is a very modular accelerometer here that you see, and we actually have other planned enhancements and releases of this. So you can see that the electronics and the crystals, which are in the bottom section, we're actually talking about separating that, putting that on the machine, then having a cable run to the power supply and what I would call the E-module, which is the wireless capability on top. Now today, uh, the device is ISA 100. A little later in 2019, we'll also have WHART, and we have some customers that are very interested in LoRa. Now, the, the challenging with LoRa is because of the, uh, the amount of data, dynamic data that we're trying to see, and uh, the capabilities of LoRa. So we have a lot of testing to do, but uh, believe it or not, we're not at a lack of customers' interest. And, but the key is it's not a proprietary protocol we're developing on. We're developing on the current standards today. Yes? Um, apps, actually, we do do some pre-processing, and we put the data into what's called data packets, and then that data packet is then sent over and transferred. So, the, you know, the question was if we're having to do any pre-processing on the ISA, and that's absolutely, and we do, uh, we do work with both the Honeywell Gateway and a Yokogawa Gateway today. So very, very standard for our customers. Yes. Um, believe it or believe it or not, uh, the question was, what is the size of the Ranger Pro? It's about the size of a salt shaker. So if you actually stop over at our booth 34, you can you can handle one. But you know when you think about, I told you that middle com uh, section of the uh, device there is a lithium D battery. So it's probably the height of two lithium D batteries because you got the accelerometer on the bottom and you have the uh, the E module on top. Yes? How do you attach it? Okay, um, believe it or not, there are simple as uh, two ways, um, well actually three, but uh, you can have a magnetic base um, to, to put it on and it's a pretty sturdy, heavy duty magnetic base. So once you put it down, you know, it's there and you have to wiggle it to get it off because some people may actually want to take these around and take readings with just one sensor. To me, honestly, they're, they're approximately a thousand dollars a sensor. I think they should just buy two as opposed to move one around. And, uh, there's also an epoxy mount and there's also a screw mount. The good news is you can see that that design of the ring on the bottom, 
there is a certain orientation that you need to have it in. So once you actually attach it, you do have the flexibility to adjust it if you don't have it perfectly aligned for your machine to do that X, Y, and Z measurement. Good question. <laughs> I have not personally installed one other than the magnet myself. <laughs> Any other questions? All right, well, I do expect next year I'll be telling you that I have more than 10,000 of these installed. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you.